Dr. Chrissy Plays Games, and this is your information on Patreon. Patreon is crowdfunding for content creation. This is their goal. So it's a crowdfunding platform that helps fund creators. More than 35 creators on Patreon made more than $150,000 last year, and there's more than 10,000 total creators on Patreon. It covers all types of content, music, podcasts, writing, and to some extent, video, uh, and especially YouTube. Uh, Patreon is a cross between a Kickstarter and a subscription service. So you pledge a fixed amount and receive perks. The creators choose the perks and set goals, and perks might include early access to content like windowing, uh, behind-the-scenes content, exclusive content, uh, monthly live chat, physical swag, a lovely sense of well-being, or other things else like that. Um, so these are these are all the types of things that you can get from Patreon. These are things that you might think of as goals on Kickstarter that you might want to get to. So how does Patreon work? Uh, creators choose to offer monthly pledge or per-content pledges. Uh, so for example, you can pledge $5 for each video I make, or which includes an option for a monthly cap or to pledge monthly. So you can say, I'm willing to pay $4 a month or $1 a month or $20 a month. Um, Patreons then choose to buy in at a fixed pledge amount. They can change at any time. Pledges are for one month and grant access to perks, including previously published content on the platform. So every month, the patrons, uh, the patrons receive a single charge for all of their Patreon pledges. So at the when I... When I pledge, I pay right away, and then for the next month, I pay on the first of the month, I pay like a $73 fee for all the people that I'm sponsoring on Patreon. The perks are typically provided via the built-in Patreon blog-like system. Um, so each post could have an association of the price level it's at. You can use these to upsell video users later. So if you join at $1, it will tell you like, hey, if you spend $5, then you will be gain access to as many as 832 more things. Creators can use Patreon's built-in video hosting or post hosting or anything else like that, but sometimes choose to simply use an unlisted YouTube video and post a link to it to Patreon. Uh, occasional positive. Um, and so, so, uh, um, so this is basically Patreon, the platform, the platform is a, a, a blog platform combined with giving X people access to the content. Uh, it has the ability to build the built-in ability to upsell users. Every post that is available to users at a certain Patreon level will include how many patrons were, you know, included in that. And there's an overall set of goals that the creator can set, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so now we're gonna go through some of the people who are using Patreon in association with YouTube and talk about what they're doing. So Simon Yertz, uh, uh, Simone Yertz, whose name I was mispronouncing and didn't realize the G was silent until just recently, uh, is from Sweden and is a Patreon creator on YouTube. And so this is her description hey, of what she does. My name is Simone Yertz and people call me the queen of shitty robots. No, 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 it's a good thing. <laughs> so Simone Yertz creates shitty robots, but you want to support me in what I'm doing. Uh, one of the things about her content hey, is that when she was Simone doing a number of streams that were that were intended to be funded by sponsors, corporate sponsors, she found that many of them were upset at some of the things she was saying. Uh, because she's a typical YouTube creator who does things like swear. Um, so she created a Patreon, and this is what her description of why you might want to fund her Patreon was. If you want to support me in what I'm doing and you want me to keep saying stuff like shit and mispronouncing popcorn as cock porn and great job, go fuck yourself, you deserved it, then please consider supporting me there. It so, uh, as she pointed out, you know, she, she, uh, at one point had a sponsor be very upset and pulled out completely because she said fuck four times in one video. Um, some companies are opening to working together. She specifically mentions both Intel and Google as companies that were willing to, you know, go through with their deals, despite the fact that she's a bit profane. Um, but you know, at one point she was at a marketing conference and asked on stage what she thought marketing was or advertising was. She said, advertisement's a little bit like the dog taking a shit on the floor. Um, but it doesn't take a shit on the carpet it takes a shit in the bathroom so you don't really like it there but it's kind of easy to clean up and you don't feel too bad about it um apparently you know people didn't like that too much and so she got in trouble and had people literally calling and screaming on the phone to her company or to her manager um so yeah so she'd rather have companies pay for what they do but she doesn't want to give up on the creativity and the ability to control her own content so if you want me to keep mispronouncing popcorn as cock porn or say great job go fuck yourself you deserve it then you know she wants the patreon uh she's also 
partnered with Goldie Blocks to create kid-friendly versions of her content. So to take the things that she's done and create kid-friendly versions of them. So her Patreon was created in December 2016. She has 432,000 subscribers on YouTube, 691 patron patrons, and is making $7,248 a month. Uh, she only offers one perk level at $5 with no particular benefits. All patrons get access to all content and is primarily to provide an alternative funding to corporate sponsorship. So the other one, another person who uses Patreon is Andrew Huang. And we played a video from Andrew Huang earlier, uh, who's a creator, a uh, longtime YouTube creator, uh, presented at VidCon many times, etc. And uh, this is one of his videos. In fact, this is the video that convinced me to participate in his Patreon, in particular the joke at the very end, which maybe you'll be able to hear. Hey, it's Andrew Huang. Just thought I would make some nice light music. So yes, just thought he would make some nice light music. Uh, so this is what we were talking about earlier. His song challenge here was to make a song just with light bulbs. Obviously puts a lot of effort into this. He's got a ton of different shots, a ton of different sounds. He's able to combine and create into a song. And he does this and creates this, you know, light bulb, light bulb challenge song. So uh, he creates unique music competitions, very limited corporate sponsorship. I see very few of the kind of ad stuff that I see on other creators. Uh, the Patreon sponsorship is actually on a weekly basis rather than a monthly basis. And so he produces two videos a week and has lots Lots of content in Patreon. He's been doing this for two years. He's got hundreds of posts, one for each video, behind the scenes, vlogs, etc. All the videos are hosted on YouTube and not on the Patreon platform, but are unlisted links when they are Patreon only content. Patreon was cre his Patreon was created in fall of 2014. He has 612,000 subscribers on YouTube and 617 Patreons, patrons who fund him to the tune of $5,560 per month. He has a lot of perk levels. So like one of his perks is I'll follow you on Twitter. One is I'll advise you on your creative endeavors or audio stems and instrumentals, live streams, chats, etc. And in that sense, he uh, is... is um, you know, really taking advantage of all the different ways that you can create and interact with in, in Patreon. Um, another one, one of my favorites, you've heard of this channel many times if you've been around for a while, is the Real Engineering channel. So Real Engineering creates science videos. Uh, this was a channel which was created with the express intent of making money off of it. Uh, you know, the making a living off of it. And so this channel created, and he started in the beginning of 2016. His goal was to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2016. When he got halfway to that goal, he set up this Patreon, and he currently has like 384,000 subscribers and 243 patrons. Patrons. Um, so he started out with no financial support or backing, uh, started his Patreon at around 125,000 subs. His intent was to make the YouTube channel self-funding. Uh, it's con used in conjunction with corporate sponsorship or brand deals with orgs like Great Courses Plus and provides early access to videos and not a whole lot else. There's only like 16 posts on the on the Patreon. He does, although uh, one of his perks is access to a, um, a a limited access subreddit. And so, oh, that many perk levels is wrong. No, there are actually. He has, he has a bunch of different perk levels, but like, so name and credits, name and description. So it's, it's kind of comes down to having your, like being credited for things is the primary thing he offers as well as access to a limited access subreddit. So rather than doing these things on the Patreon platform, he does things via the subreddit where he shares shares early videos and everything else like that at the $10 level and above. So he has 356,000 subscribers on YouTube, 243 patrons, makes $831 a month, which according to him is enough to afford his living expenses. It allows him to be a, uh, a supporter of that platform. Um, He's not a heavy user of the Patreon platform. There's only 20 posts. Uh, I think he probably uses Reddit more than Patreon, but is out there and and has basically said, like, because of, of you all, I'm able to make this my my job. Um, you know, he's he's making enough to live on ramen all the, all the time. Um, now, looking at another person who's a little bit different, this is Missledyne Online is a YouTube creator in the YouTube gaming space who is a live streamer. And live streams kind of have this reputation of being... Uh, you know, fan supported, and he started this up relatively recently. I think the Patreon's existed for a while, but restarted it recently, and has been able to pull in 14 patrons, uh, and is making $122 a month. And this is one of the things he mentioned as uh, one of his goals. Thousand dollars will basically be able to allow me to shift to YouTube and content creation absolutely full time. A thousand dollars would pay almost all of my bills, uh, except for like food and stuff, and the channel as a whole would be a much more active place, which I would hope would mean better content as well. And of 
So I'm a little bit confused as how a thousand dollars can be your full-time job if it doesn't pay for your food. I feel like food is one of those things you have to have. However, this is what he says in his video introducing his Patreon to people. So he's a gaming live stream creator. Live stream content can be hard to monetize in other ways. It's harder to get um, some of the like ad sponsor deals and other things like that in part because of the lack of approval going back to Simone Yertz's comment uh, where you know she said that she was unable to you know do some of these deals because uh, sponsors got upset at her. Um, live streams are also often viewer supported. This is a thing that people are used to in live streams. Um, so he creates regular live streaming content, gives at Patreon access to Patreon only content like polls to choose games, as well as times when he plays games just with other patrons. And the goal is to become a full-time YouTube creator. Um, so Patreon was created, recreated in winter of 2016, 4,500 subscribers on YouTube, 14, 14 patrons, $122 a month, 100 total posts, 38 Patreon only posts. Um, and there's hundreds more. There's tons more YouTube creators creating content using Patreon, etc. cetera. Uh, I use it myself. And it's designed to give a sense of some of the different, this is just designed to give you a sense of some of the different types of creators using it. For some, it lets them turn the hobby into a job. For some, it offers a way to make the hobby better. And for some, it just offers a new way to connect fans with the creator. Um, it offers a new way to, to get into that, whether it's behind the scenes or anything else like that. And 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 this is somewhat that's out there. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an overview of what Patreon is, what type of people use it, and, and what people are getting out of it. Uh, so you have a better understanding of Patreon as it applies to YouTube content creators specifically out there in the world. And that is it.